that's what you should think about as a superhero, or you to be a hero, is that, you know, you can potentially die. Your life could end as a result. And some people get a rush from it, too. Some people, they, you know, it drives them. It makes them keep going. You know, I watched 24 and Jack Bauer, and, and you know what it is? Jack Bauer is an adrenaline junkie. Or at least, you know, that's, that's one way to interpret his uh, behavior on the show. But I do know people that are adrenaline junkies. They do do stuff for the purpose of power, for the purpose of feeling strong. That can be the villain. It could also be some heroes. You know, they talk about doctors and how they feel like they're, you know, they're God, or, you know, the whole idea of playing God. That, you know, is something, yeah. When you handle people's lives and you realize they live or die, basically, according to me, it get, it's a perverse sense of power you feel. And and the, the weird thing is that you have to accept it, too. It's your morality. It's, your, it's what drives you, what keeps you at it. That's what, you know, matters. That's what's going to affect how you handle it and how you keep going about things. So would it, you know, will it corrupt you? Will it drive you nuts? Will it make you disrupt people's normal lives because you want them to be safe? Questions. You know, and I think the kind of weird thing is that I'm thinking of these profound questions because I'm imagining in my mind a conversation with Stan Lee. You know, because these are all things he brought up uh, in the first season of Who Wants to Be a Superhero. If you are faced with, you know, these challenges, what are you going to do? What is it about you that will make you do what you need to do. So, I don't know. It takes a bit more than hiring a bunch of actors to pretend to be villain or uh, convicts and telling people, all right, you have to brush their hair, you have to pat them, you have to sit on their lap. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I, I, it's, I, I knew before I realized they were actors, I, I kind of figured they were actors, but I, I knew, it was like, there's just no way, there's just no way, you know, but. You know, you have to, to judge a person's character, you need more than, you know, you really have to put, it's a hard thing, too, to do. You know, but how do you put, you know, these dilemmas, these issues before a person and simplify them to two, you know, yes, you know, yes or no, one or two type answers? How do you do that? So I'm, ho I'm hopefully hoping that for this season, you know, who uh, wants to be a superhero, they can do that. You know, because that would really paint the picture of the human spirit. I would really show people just, you know, what anybody's made of. But at the same time, you know, you got to realize, though, the people you see, they they have that spirit in them, in their minds, in their hearts, that, you know, I'm a hero. That's, uh, so in a way, you're seeing a unique best of humanity aspect and being put to the test, put to the challenge. You know, fear factor is people stomaching, people enduring pain, people holding on, you know, which is all mental. And in a way, that's what Who Wants to Be a Superhero is. It's all mental. As, you know, Stan Lee keeps pointing out, you know, what is in your brain? What is, you know, driving you? What is keeping you going? You know, and they prove that, too, you know, with the... Uh, Attack dog and um, the asbestos suit. You know, people you know, say you have to reach that door. You have to reach that door handle. You have to run across the yard and reach the door handle. And little light women just being tossed around. 
and she just didn't give up. You know, and it's, yeah, that's, that's what it is. She knew, you know, that's what it, it's going to take. You know, and, and that's, uh, that's, you know, I've kind of been in a similar situation with um, a lot of pain. And uh, you can tell you about it somewhere else, but, you know, you, you do it because you, know, you can stop at any time. You can save yourself from the pain. But you have to do it. And it's like to prove something. Which is kind of unfortunate because, you know, wh wh who do you need to prove to? Why do you need to prove anything? But if you need to prove something to somebody, you'll do it. And as a result, I, you know, wasn't the most excruciating pain I've ever been in my life, you know, to the point like I, I was yelling at people, you know, this, you know, people I'm not supposed to yell at, you know, but it's, you know, I, I, I felt I had to do it, and so I did it. Um, that's, is that what it means to be a superhero? Is that what it means to be a hero, you know, to endure that pain, even though you could stop at any time? Or a masochist? You know, questions. Lots of profound, deep questions. And I'm kind of tired. <laughs> I shouldn't be asking these because it's going to keep me up even longer. <sighs> but, you know, I hope this little blog is, you know, if you're watching it still, thank you, by the way. But I hope that, you know, for all you guys interested in who wants to be a superhero, you know, I, I hope these are questions that you've kind of already asked or thought about or maybe, you know, paused over, glanced over. And if not, then I hope, you know, that it's eye-opener to you. You know, it, it's more than just a show. And I mean show as in put on a costume and saying, you know, I'm this or that person. It's, you know, what is inside of you? Like Stanley keeps saying. What is inside of you to make you a hero? What is inside of you, you know, to say, I, I will face this. I will overcome this. I, I should have, I put a, a hero of mine, uh, Clarence Darrow, and uh, an army captain I knew. He's a major now. Probably might be a lieutenant colonel now. I realize now I should have also put, uh, you know, Dr. Martin Luther King because he knew what he was doing when he started, you know, preaching and saying, you know, we need to change the country. You know, he realized that there would be trouble ahead and that, you know, his own mortality was on the line and he accepted that. You know, it's, um, that's, I, that's really the ultimate, you know, weight you have to consider is what is going to change as a result of my sacrifice or of my stepping into harm's way what will change that's what makes a hero that's how you you know I, I think that's the way you decide will things be changed if I put myself in the harm's way and in a weird way you can justify not doing something as a result. Heavy, weighty questions. Superheroes' life is always full of questions. Answers are hard to come by. One of the things I should have mentioned uh, for the surgeon example was imagine how many operations on the heart occurred before they were able to perfect it. Imagine how many people died. You know, how many doctors are like, you know, we, we need to work on the heart. We have to figure this out. And how many people died, you know, while they were trying to figure it out. And did the doctor stop? No, they kept going. You know, and it's like, you know, you're going to learn. You have to learn from your mistakes. You have to learn, you know, from the sacrifice of these, you know, people who have died. So, it's another weird way to justify it all.